Hi guys, it's Fen Tony. I'm back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 video and this one's going to be a theory that I've been thinking about for a while now and it probably isn't true but I thought I'd make it anyway as it is pretty fun. This video is going to be about Jon Snow's hidden power and I feel it does make sense in a way and it does fill a plot hole but as I did say it's just a bit of fun and it probably won't happen. So what is Jon Snow's hidden power? Well if you go back to Season 5 Episode 8 Hard Home, where Jon Snow, the Night's Watch and the Wildlings are attacked by the Night King and his army, Jon uses Long Claw, which is a Valyrian Steel blade, and the common theory is Valyrian Steel is able to kill White Walkers because it's created by using steel, dragon glass, and forging them together using dragon fire. Dragonglass can perhaps kill White Walkers because the Night King was created by the Children of the Forest by placing Dragonglass into his heart. And from season 7 we know dragon glass and kill whites along with fire. But in Hard Home, Jon Snow is unable to kill whites using Longclaw. But when he attacked the whites, their bodies would actually be cut up but they were still animated and it wouldn't actually destroy them. Fire is the white's biggest weakness, as shown in season 7 episode 6 Beyond the Wall. In that episode, dragon fire was very effective against them, but so was dragon glass on a smaller scale. But Longclaw was able to kill whites as well. Valyrian steel is much sharper than normal steel, so it does make sense it can chop the white's bodies up easier than normal weapons can. Jon Snow was able to cut through several whites and destroy them with one strike, and their bodies were not chopped up into several pieces, but they were instantly killed. This is either a giant plot hole from season 5 and Longclaw should not be able to destroy the whites or the TV show has decided to change how effective Valyrian Steel is against whites. So this is what I'm thinking. Maybe Valyrian Steel is able to kill white walkers but it has no effects on whites. Maybe the reason Jon Snow is able to kill whites has something to do with him being brought back from the dead by the power of the Lord of Light. George R. R. Martin describes Beric Dondarrion as a white animated by fire. Beric has died six times and bears the scars of his death and each time George R. R. Martin describes him as becoming less and less and that his heart isn't beaten, his blood is not flowing and Jon Snow has died once and he bears the scars of his death on his body. I don't know if the TV show is going to do the fire whites in the same way as George R. R. Martin and it seems to me that Jon Snow is pretty much alive and Beric seems to be alright as well. Apart from the scars of their deaths and the effects of their deaths on their minds, they seem to be doing alright. So maybe Jon Snow is able to kill the Whites of Longclaw because he has fire inside of him. We have not seen any other character use Valyrian Steel against Whites, so until we see another character wield Valyrian Steel and kill a White with it, in my opinion, we still really don't know. Also, go back to Jon Snow's presentation to Cersei in Season 7 Episode 7 where he showed her how to kill Whites. He never mentioned Valyrian Steel which was pretty strange to me. The TV show may have just changed the lore and Valyrian Steel can kill Whites now but it definitely was unable to kill them in Season 5. Or perhaps my theory is correct and Jon can kill them because he's a Fire White brought back by the Lord of Light and he has fire inside of him. Maybe this gives Jon the power to wield Lightbringer, the Sword of Azor High. I'm only playing around now, let's stop before we get too carried away. So let me know what you think. Is Jon Snow able to kill the Whites of Longclaw because he's a Fire White brought back from the dead by Lord of Light? Or do you think it's just a plot hole? Or do you think the TV show has just changed the rules and Valyrian Steel can kill Whites? So leave all your thoughts in the comments below and if you enjoyed my content and you want to see more of it, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. I really appreciate that as it really helps the channel out and it lets me know that you enjoy what you see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.